I'm at Cadwell Park today and I am going to be riding progressively more scary bikes around this circuit. I'll show you what's in store. So I have stumbled across the one and only Stavros, Steve Parrish. What are you doing here, Steve? No one ever stumbles across me. Um, they come looking for me. Um, what am I doing here? I'm at uh, Suzuki Classic Live Weekend at Cabell Park. The sun has been shining, the storms have been coming, the wind is blowing like you can't believe. It's the same weekend that Goodwood's got cancelled because of the wind, I believe. Uh, but I've had a long association with Suzuki's and they've got some lovely old bikes here. Quite a few that I've ridden before. They've got the 652 Suzuki way from back in 78. They've got uh, an RG500 here from 84. They've got the Katana that I raced with uh, James Whittam and Michael Neves at the Donington uh, six hour race, I think it was, something like that. Um, and a load of beautiful old stuff. So it's really cool to be here and meeting lots of people like yourself. Um, obviously Sylvain Gintoli is here, John Reynolds here, Rob Max turning up in a minute, but I think we've got to have a brown envelope for him. He won't come in the gate until we meet him with some cash. Um, and it's nice to see Oggy that's here, who knows everything about the bikes. I've just spoken to a guy down there that's got a bike from 1974 or something, and Oggy still knew the chassis number. I mean, it's just quite extraordinary. So it's great, really nice to be here, and lots of people with some lovely bikes. I've had a walk around, there's some fantastic classic bikes here, it really is lovely, yeah. So I think an event that I don't know how many years they've been doing it but it just seems to get bigger and bigger yeah <laughs> right well I'm gonna go get some leathers on and we're gonna head out on track what bike are you riding today or what uh, well I was riding a nice GSX-R1000 and John Reynolds has just nicked it and the funny thing is he couldn't get his leg over to get on it because it's quite a high bike and we're a bit worried that if he's gone down the gate at the bottom of Cabell and if they stop him he's just gonna fall over I think we will do all right okay, thank you cheers. Steve Coming down the straight, just the, I saw a load of red stuff. I was like, oh, is that oil? And just the overflow bottle got full. It was just chucking out the. But it's not running hot. I didn't crash it, but I still had that, you know, that, that sense of shame when you, in the, the driver shame. And then you roll out, and everyone's like, oh, God. Like, I had all the instructors down there, they're going, I didn't crash it! I didn't crash it! Oh man, what a bike. How was it? That was, I got... I previously had a couple of laps on each bike, but that I had a full four laps then. And I was in the zone and just... just that is evil. I hope you don't need to ride that tomorrow. It is evil. Just brutal, but I loved it at the same time. Yeah. I like your beard. Thank you. Well, yeah. I'm pleased that you actually yeah. noticed it's there. Well, that's a start. Yeah. It, was, it was the reflection in the sun. I was like, ah, yes, <laughs> some pubes. I'm just, it's been a bad day for it because it's quite windy and it might go at any minute. <laughs> Talk me through it. Why so, are you here? What have you been riding? Um, I'm here because it's Suzuki Live and it's Cabwell. And I like Suzuki's and Cabwell. No, I, I got the opportunity to ride some uh, classic Suzuki's in previous times and the guys at Suzuki said, look, do you want to come and have a go on some old, I think the quote was, old oh, can I say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> I'll definitely come and have a, go, have a go on some old So, yeah, I first went out on the 83, 84 RG500, uh, the Harris Frames RG500, and it was that, what a bike. Are you going to ride that tomorrow? I am, yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Um, it's got, the, the gearing is so long, it's like, Stavros got off, he's like, it's, you literally got to sort of walk it, clutch in, first gear, it's time to 
take these bikes on track. And first up, we have a very special bike. My first time taking one of these bikes on track, but a very special bike nonetheless. So I'll get my helmet on, gloves on, head out on track. Let's get the day started. <laughs> I don't see why, what's wrong? I think we have to go up a level before we can get on track. We're taking it up a level now to a bike that was nicknamed the Widowmaker. Suzuki have stupidly said that I can ride. This bike was, I believe, first built in 1997, but this particular one was built in 2014 out of brand new parts in the Suzuki warehouse in the UK. I'm going to go take it on track, which I'm very excited about. That's why this bike looks absolutely brand new. It was notorious for shaking its head and having big death tank slappers. And they've since retrofitted a steering damper, which I'm pleased to say. But I'm looking forward to taking this on track and seeing exactly what it's like to ride a bike like this on track. It's going to have more power, a little bit more torque, and we're definitely taking it up a notch. I've also just noticed that this bike comes fully equipped with a roll cage, and I've never seen a motorbike with a roll cage before which is making me even more nervous. We're taking it up a level now. This is a Suzuki 8S. It's a 776, I believe. It's a parallel twin. It's got quick shifter, auto blip, and a little bit more torque than what we've been playing with so far. It's probably a middleweight bike, and the next level up on track. I'm actually really looking forward to riding this one on track. I think it's got a nice amount of power. It'll be good fun around Cadwell Park, and it's one step closer to the animal that we'll be riding at the end of this video, which I'm getting progressively more nervous about. So I'll see you on track. very fun bike to ride. I was honestly surprised at the amount of torque it has. I kind of in my mind thought it was going to be a bit of a budget bike and not that fun to ride, but really enjoyable experience. You can have lots of lean angles, foot pegs are scraping everywhere, and I think it set me up nicely for the rest of this video. So, it's time to get my helmet back on and choose the next bike.
This is the Suzuki Hayabusa. It's the next bike I'm going to ride on track. It has got everything you can think of. It's a 1340cc bike. It's got traction control, ABS, launch control, different riding modes. It's got two big exhausts. It's the smooth, creamy, buttery power, big stable bike that I'm looking forward to getting on track before the animal at the end of this video. I think this is going to be the most fun to ride and the safest for me to ride. But probably not the most dangerous yet. Now this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is a 500cc two-stroke as ridden by Barry Sheen in 1984. It finished third in Kyle Army on this bike and I'm honestly very nervous. Not only is this bike worth an absolute fortune, it's a complete animal. The brakes are from 1984 so they're not going to be the best. It's a two-stroke 500 so it's going to be a beast to ride. It's got really peaky power, it's really revvy. I think it's also a right hand gear shift, which I have never ridden in my life before. So this is about as scary and as dangerous as it could possibly get on track for me. And coupled with that, I'm also on a track day in the middle of a lot of just normal people riding bikes. What could possibly go wrong?
what an experience riding this bike was. I'm blown away. I can't believe how well it handles for a bike that's so old. You can carry so much corner speed. I was nervous riding it. Obviously, the last thing I want to do is crash this bike, but it was just so much fun to ride. So fast down the straight as well. It accelerates so fast. The gearbox is so smooth, and uh, yeah, even the brakes weren't as bad as I thought they would be. So thoroughly enjoyable day, and I'll see you in the next one.